All right, guys, welcome back to Valhelsia 3. Guys, last episode we went ahead and set up all of the stuff in here. Uh, got the digital miner running a lot better, and we are getting plenty of ores, as we can see here. We have so many being produced right now. Oh, it is amazing. Look at all the iron that we have. Holy heck, Batman, that's a lot of iron. But uh, anyways, guys, yeah, I went ahead and just finished up the build here. Uh, I do like it. I like this entrance here a lot. We just have a stair, some slabs, and a stair again. Just kind of breaks it up, lets you know it's a different part of the room. But yeah, our digital miner, as you can see, we've only got 143 left. This guy's been just chugging along. Uh, we're actually about to run out of ores to mine, which is kind of sad. But it means we're going to have to move this guy and figure out a way to power it again. Um, but other than that, I want to go ahead and get into some Botania today. Uh, and that means we're going to need to get into the uh, Lexica Botania guy. Yes, the Lexica Botania. Uh, so that means we all we need is a book. Nice, we've got a book. And then we just need a sapling. Do we have a sapling? Oh, look at that. We got a sapling. Whoops, we got two in that one. We want one. All right, here we go. Let's just go ahead and craft this baby up. Booyah! Lexica Botania, the uh, 402nd edition. It is a very thinky mod. All right, so let's see here. Basics. Welcome to Botania, yada, yada, yada. We need to make flowers. Um, so mystical flowers, petal apothecary. This is what we're going to want to need to make, what we're going to want to make first. Um, looks like the texture is a little broken there. Might need to do the whole Botania thing like we did for Mechanism, but I should have a few different, yes, we have a few different Botania stuffs here that we can go ahead and make the Petal Apothecary with. Shouldn't be too difficile. Uh, let's see here. Should have some red flowers somewhere. Kind of need those. There they are, perfect. Okay, so Petal Apothecary. Um, just like so, we're going to use brown because we got a lot of it. And is it like this? No. Is it like this? No. What? I'm messing up. What am I messing up? Ah, oh, it slaps up top. I'm stupid. Bang a ding. Whoops. Ba ding. Bing. Oh, bing, bong, bing, bong. Bing, 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 bong. All right, let's grab a water. Let's grab a bucket. Well, we're gonna have to make one. All right, so let's go ahead and get our Batania area situated. I'm just gonna come over here and grab some water. I haven't yet to place the saplings back here. I'm a total noob. Anyway, let's come on over here. Real Nito Toledo. Uh, we'll just put the petal apothecary here, fill this up. Okay, I assume there's water in that. Might be a little bit of a broken texture. Okay, so we got the petal apothecary made up. Uh, Lexa Botania, yeah, we don't really need that. Mystical flowers, these are the cool flowers. They're pretty neat. Should look into them. Pure daisy, this is what we want to make real quick. So, we are going to need... Oh, it's different here. It's white flowers for a pure daisy. Oh. Oh, was it just four? Yeah, okay, so let's just go. And then we just throw a seed in. Huh. Well, that was easy. Dang, look at that, pure daisies. No, snow. <laughs> so what we do with this is we take some wood and we take some stone. Oh uh, yeah, we got some stone here. Come over here with our stone. We'll place this around and it'll get these cool particle effects. Yeah. May have placed one too many. And then these will turn into living wood. Now I'm going to go ahead and make up another one of these pure daisies here. Okay, so we have our second pure daisy made up over here. And for this one, we're going to be using wood to create the living wood. As you can see, this stuff is turning into the living rock now. Very, very cool. And so this is what we need to make more things. I'll show you what we're gonna make here in just a second. Let's get some more of this stuff getting made up. Now we can go ahead and automate this eventually, which will be cool. Okay, so we've got those made up. We got our, our living rock wood. Uh, Wand of the forest, we're probably gonna wanna make this next. Uh, this does require uh, the living wood, so we need to let this stuff grow into the living wood. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. All right, look at that. We got our living wood here. Very, very cool. All right, so let's go ahead, get another one of these batches going. 
Uh, it doesn't really matter directional. You just need to have the wood in the area. Uh, but yes, now we need to turn this into that. Boom shakalaka. Uh, we're going to turn one of these into a crafting table for out here. We're going to put this in the ground. Yeah, so it's not in the way. Perfect. Okay, so we need to go... Actually, that just made one. So we need to go ahead and make two of these phantoms. Okay, we're sleeping. Okay, so we have slept. It just now is the daytime. I need to make a one more. Perfect. Now we're going to use the black one here. Oops, missed. All right, now we have the wand of the forest. That's going to be like our tool method. Methodology thing for Batania. Don't worry about it too much. Okay, now black lotus. Don't really need to worry about it. Flower pouch. That will come in handy later, but we are okay. Uh, generating flora. We want to make these endoflates here. Uh, so generating flora are, yeah, flora. I thought that was mana. I guess it's flora. So generating flora is going to be very useful for us. We don't want to make the hydra gigas because these things, uh, I think they disappear after a while, right? They decay after about three days, making them a non-viable for long-term production. Endo flames do not do this. Uh, you just basically throw coal on the ground, and they turn into uh, whatever, I guess, they're doing. Uh, we need light gray. I don't think I had any light gray. Oh, no. Let us look for the light gray. I generated this world before Batania was added in, so we don't get any Batania flowers anywhere like close to us. Like That's a mild Minecraft one. Uh, this is another Minecraft one. Uh, but if we go a little bit of ways over here where the world is gener generated after we had Batania installed, we'll, we'll see a whole bunch. You'll, you'll see. Trust me. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I was like, what was that? It was like, boom. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, there we go. You can see there are some Batania, uh, Batania flowers generating. We're a little further away from the base than I remember it being. But uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead here. We'll mine up some more of these uh, flowers. And then hopefully we will also find the light gray one that we need. Oh, look at that. Is that light gray? Yep, look at that. We already found it. Very cool. We can set up a few endo flames. All right, I'm going to keep collecting these guys. And I will be back with you guys in a moment. All right, guys, so I've got some bad news. Uh, it looks like the previous clip I just recorded where we just made a whole bunch of stuff for Batania uh, somehow um, OBS decided that it was a good time to mute my microphone. I had never hit the button to mute it. I look over and it's muted halfway through the recording. So instead of going back and doing all that, I just want to explain to you what we did. Uh, we set up these flowers. I don't know if I did that with you guys. Then we set up the, um, the mana pool here, which is just a living rock into a U-shaped pattern like a minecart. We set up these endo flames uh, that required uh, these red petals, these brown petals, and then some light gray ones. You threw it into this with water, and you threw a seed in, and it gave you these. Now, these act like furnaces. Now, there is a banana spreader here that's invisible, because I think the texture might be broken, and it's just invisible. Uh, but we are getting mana. There is mana, in fact, in here. Uh, but we needed to go ahead and make something to get these slime balls, which is why we're doing this. Uh, we need to go ahead and make this alchemical stand, uh, which means we need a mana pearl. Now, I do have one ender pearl, I do believe, that we can go ahead and throw in there. Uh, that's been running for a little bit, so it should be ready to go. I need to find that ender pearl if I haven't used it already. Um, we might be able to just make one. Shoot, I was in the nether, and in the nether there are certain biomes now that like specifically spawn... Enderman and Wither Skeletons, so like a dark basalt thing going on. It's pretty cool. I was there and didn't kill any Enderman because I didn't have enough food. So guess what I get to go do now? Back to the nether. Now that this is recording, I'm happy about it. All right, guys, so we are back from our adventure in the nether. There's a big lag spike there. Um, so I ended up getting just a couple more Ender Pearls and just one more. Um, we should have quite a few of these guys now. Yeah, look at this. Very cool. So now that means we should be able to go to the net or the end. No problem. I also got a wither skeleton skull. Uh, in that place where the wither skeletons spawn and the endermen spawn, that's where I just set up like a little, uh, too high little shack that I was standing in and looking at everyone. Very basic. Um, but yeah, now we have this. I don't know... Yep, that's good. Perfect. 
So now uh, we do have living rock. We have some outside if we don't have any in here, but I'm pretty sure we have some in here. Where did I put it though? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you go? I put you right there. Living rock, perfect. Okay, so to make this guy, we need some of these. Okay, that should be good. Two of those, now it looks like we just need gold. This guy should be done. Yeah, we're done. It's mined everything it can. One more diamond. Look at that. Look at all the iron we got. We got so much iron and gold. I'm so happy with the digital miner. It is one of the best decisions I have made. Okay. Or we have made. All right. So all we need to do is just put this underneath the, the guy here. Okay. And now that should allow us to throw some cactus in there. You should see it turns into slime balls. Oh yeah. So you just throw the whole stack in, stand back a little bit. Ta-da, it's beautiful. Look at all the slime, we got 38 slime balls. That's how we get our slime for that. Now I do wanna go ahead and put this on a timer to be running all around the clock. All we have to do is just basically fill it up with coal uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to see if I can find a, a good way to uh, deploy six blocks of coal every so once in a while, and we'll be back. All right, we're going to need some redstone for this cool project, so let's go ahead and get some redstone. Now, you can fortune redstone. Unfortunately, we've tested. It's been tested several times, so I'm just going to vein mine this with our cool pickaxe, our atomic disassembler here, and we're just going to get all of the redstone we could ever oh, fall down for. I mean, want. <laughs> All right, that should be it. Actually, just kidding. Look at all this redstone. Oh, yes. Oh, we don't have enough room. Shoot. Okay, guys. So I've got a system in here that'll make this work. It is a very, very um, messy and rough system, but it does the job. It gives us six pulses every once in a while. Uh, we just basically use a very old school uh, pulse extender. Uh, with a monostable circuit here and into the back of a comparator on subtract mode so it just goes pa 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 so it does a total of six i went ahead and mined a whole heck ton of freaking blocks of coal now i don't have the timing over here just right yet i've just got an etho hopper clock in here uh i think i'm going to take out about a stack of items maybe more um because that, you have to double the length of whatever how long it takes these to move over uh, so we're just going to have that run in there. Uh, this is getting more and more. We're already back up to doing this again. And this will continue to run while we are AFK, which is what I'm most excited about. Um, don't get me wrong. Um, don't get me wrong. Um, yeah, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I, I love Batania. I want to get into it. But as of right now, with all of the bugs and everything that Batania has, I'm not really looking forward to it. Uh, what I'm more looking forward to is the refined storage that we're going to be getting into next episode. Um, pretty neat. Let me see how much time we have left for the video, and we will we'll get this far departed. Now, that launched way too quick. That's probably because uh, I, I launched it on my own. And I'm probably just going to add in half a stack again. Yeah, okay. So we want to err on the safe the side of um, less time, or sorry, more time, because we don't want this thing to waste blocks of coal because they're not the cheapest thing in the world right now, and we're kind of out of coal. Um, yeah, I used up all the coal that we had gotten pretty much. Um, we can't even make up. We might be able to make up another one of those blocks, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Uh, so if you guys want to go ahead and simplify this down for me, uh, send it to me in Discord. Uh, I, I do have my Super Turtle Discord that you can go ahead and send it to me. Send me like a very compact version of this, and I will go ahead and implement the best one I think that will work. And then we'll probably put it underground or here, something like that. Uh, but let me see how much time we got left, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got a couple more minutes here. I want to go ahead and show you guys how we're going to be getting our string here. If we take our look at our industrial hemp fiber, we can convert that into string. Isn't that so cool? We've already got that set up. And then if we go here like this, bam, processor bindings. Now you know what the processor bindings are for. These are for our different guys here. Oh, it's so cool, so, so cool. I'm so excited to get into refined storage so we no longer have to be searching around 
or where, wherever things are. And I want to go ahead and go to the nether here and test something out in this version. Because uh, I, I read something online that if you silk touch some of the, the gold ore in the nether, when you smelt it, it gives you the ingot instead of just the, um, the, the nuggets. So we're going to test this out. Does it out in modern Minecraft? Um, game. Uh, I know I've seen it around. I don't know if it's in this biome, so just bear with me. Okay, not in this biome. Uh oh. It's a guest. I want you to get a jetpack. Fighting guests is like, bring it on, baby. We're gonna go check over here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can see some gold up in the ceiling. Okay, we're gonna get over there. All right, so we've got something over here. We're gonna go ahead and silk touch these. All right, and then we're gonna do a test with some fortune. Myth busting. Whoa! Ow. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. <laughs> All right, guys, so I've got my uh, fortune pickaxe here. We're going to go ahead and place five of these down here. Uh, okay, so we're getting the nuggets here from this. That is correct. Now, if we throw these into a furnace, let us see what we get. Oh, it is true. Okay, but uh, I want to test one more thing out here. Uh, so one, one of those... Gets us eight. Okay, so if you use fortune on it, this is pretty much bypassing fortune, guaranteeing you nine golden nuggets. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. But it means that we might want to go ahead and set up a quarry in the nether. Uh, because that is classified as nether gold ore. And I'm pretty sure I put that into a crafting table. <laughs> okay, well, that is going to wrap up the episode for today. Kind of a short one. The previous several episodes have been quite long, getting up into the 40-minute range. So we're going to hit you with a little short one today. Um, yeah, guys. So I'm very excited. We're going to be getting into refined storage next episode. We have the power system for it. We have the, the, the bindings. We are ready. I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.